Yo, what's up, Crazy? It's me, Crazy Knock, and today we're gonna go through all the patch notes. And I was waiting for the actual update to come out so that way I can visualize everything and show you guys what it all means and what it all looks like. Obviously, Nubia is in the game. She's gonna have a fighter ticket or a character bundle. But if you want to use fighter currency for the free, for the free, I guess it takes your time, but you know, no actual money. You have to wait till the 18th. I get it. It kind of sucks, but I get it. Whatever. Uh, they're adding the wacky weekend queue. It's only available today just to test it out. But other than that, it will be on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. With those queues, you'll get volleyball, spotlight, kart race, uh, three versus one. Like it's a giant versus small good characters counter i don't know what that one is splat and more so there's probably stuff i haven't even seen i'll probably do that in a separate a, a separate video i'll probably tell you guys about this in a separate video and then there's new casual queue with low intensity game modes the casual queue will launch a two player versus two bots game mode i know some people are asking for that people want to just like practice a little bit that'd be nice General combat, ground four dodges that do not successfully dodge an attack now have an additional 10 frames. Wait a minute. Wait, so I can still... Wait, I thought they were removing it if I miss a dodge. No, I so I knew that instant air dodges would work, but I didn't think the dodge jabs would still be a thing. I thought they were removing that. Interesting. I thought it was going to be where you couldn't even dodge jab. Round of forward dodge immunity herb box size has been increased to make successful dodges more likely. What? What? They need to decrease that. What are you talking about? So our hip, the hip box is that happening or the herb boxes and stuff. It was our fault for being confused. So basically they lowered the hit pause or like delayed it. So that way it visually looks better. Multiple attacks have received hit box sizes. Sizing passes with more coming in the future patch. Automatic attacks that occur near terrain corners will no longer send fighters off the side of the map. Oh, that was a thing where like you just barely clip the corner of a down tech and it'll just send you off. I'll try to go in order with the fighters. Best try to explain what's happening. It still hits in the gun. Bro, it still hits in the gun. That still should not hit. Like, holy shit, man. Anyway, they made that hitbox a little better at least. Sometimes it would hit right there in the body. They improve this as well. I feel like that shouldn't hit still, dude. There's, uh, I don't know, man. They made those hitboxes better, supposedly. And apparently this hitbox is bigger. That's kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. The dagger dash, the hit stun is reduced. So it seems like she might not get a guaranteed combo off of that. It's probably gonna be used more to just like save yourself off the side of the map hopefully her dagger is no skill so uh, i like that change holy crap the movement speed is increased look how fast that is so with the, some characters i'll let you guys know which characters they increase the ground movement speed of some characters and banana guard is one of them to what 2100 from 1775 what a good year and they said they'll keep an eye on that projectile shield so then it just made this perk activate sooner. Which is kind of cool, it might be used. What they need to do, they need to overhaul a lot of these perks to actually make it so they're usable. Batman, this dirty little whore. Well, that's a little too far, crazy. Sorry, Jeff isn't here to keep me in check. Jeff is too busy. He's at an orgy with all the other dummies. So on whiff, you can't cancel all that. So on whiff of that, a little bit more whiff cancel. It's an increased for that but it's a lot more to dodge after the second so hitting that you can cancel way faster a lot more. it's gonna be easier for him to on hit cancel window to neutral attack wait so i'm pretty sure you were able to use your battering to continue that but you literally cannot even use it anymore like i'm spamming it and you just cannot straight up use it anymore and on hit cancel window, you can't jump anymore either. So when you use this stupid ass move to do a combo, it's probably just to do that. It's like a finisher, not, wow. That's gonna be huge. Cause that's one of the most annoying combos that people are just trying to do. Cool that refund from collecting battering reduced to 50% max cooldown. What? 50% max cooldown from 65. So it actually takes a bit more for Battering cooldown increased by two seconds as well. 
Thank God, dude. Batarang's ability to do that was such a free, no risk. That'll help a little bit. The, apparently the up air attack caused weaken and I didn't even know that, but the up air attack, that's gonna have a little bit less knockback with the up air, but it won't cause weakened anymore. If you miss this, a lot more delay on whiff cancel window. Grappling hook aim speed increased. So apparently you can aim this easier. <laughs> That'd be nice. It'd be so much fun. Bat bomb is increased cooldown by four seconds. So that's gonna be nice as well. Cause intertwining those two, the battering and the bat bomb, it was just felt like it was nothing was off cooldown. So actually really good changes to Batman, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, more knockback for uncharged up attack. Uh, to 18 from 16.5, huge. Visual updated to match better the hitbox. This knockback is increased to 2000 from 1850. Black Adam got one ground dash attack. Hit, hit box startup window reduced four frames to better match visuals. Yeah, uh, actually looks like it hits. Disappointing changes. Damage reduced by one, nine from 10. Hit pause reduced. Uh, the whole, like if you dodge the rocket or something or a safe going into it, but then somehow get hit by it on the way out, it will reset the hitbox going through the hole so it could hit you again. Finn got a huge shit ton of changes. Movement speed increased from 20 or to 2250 from 2025. So you can, I feel like increasing movement speed is just gonna do this. Dash attack, this hit, the second hit, you know, a lot of times it would just like miss right through. It, it actually hits both times more consistently. Uh, reduced all the charge time for his moves by 0.25 seconds. Now, instead of 1.5, it's 1.25 now. So reduce knockback scaling for this uncharged. But if you charge it, it's a little bit more knockback. First hit. Hey, this is going to be used. Remember in the beta, this is going to be used again. The first hit actually hits consistently now. And the movement speed is increased. So it's probably more often going to hit the second hit because a lot of times the first one would hit and it would just you would get knocked back too far knockback decreased by like 200 for this move now more consistently goes into the second hit i don't know why he needed that but i'm pretty sure it was already consistent wow that's actually gonna be a really huge move look how fast i can cancel out of that still big whiff that's the big whiff only on hit cancel window. So this is a single hitbox now. No matter, it doesn't do, 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 do. Just hits once and knocks him away. A little bit more knockback and this no longer like launches him forward. I think it's overall better though. It probably is gonna not affect the knockback as much. I like the changes overall to Gizmo. I like the changes overall to Finn. Gizmo is next. When you shot it in the air, it would hit the platforms. If you're in the air and shoot an arrow, it will go through platforms. I do not know how to use this car. Holy shit, I don't know how to use this thing. Ah, so it's a up special and then like causes it to... Oh my God, why did it go that way? Jesus. How do people use this thing, man? It's so cancer. It does 15 damage. This car does 15 damage instead of 24 now. Knockback for that is more downwards. And that's it. All her, all those hitboxes are better visualized, I guess. They, they made her faster, just on the ground movement. This now breaks armor. Only the ground version though, only the ground. The hitbox frames are increased by a couple just to visualize it better. A lot more knockback on this, on the second part. Boom, that's a lot more knockback. So they made it so this one goes in the ground, the first air attack. But if you go to the second one, it sends more horizontally and knock back some more. If you decide to go for that, like to get them off the edge more. And it says air neutral attack right here. It says removed hitbox on Harley's head. It still feels like it's just her face. Like, look, where is that hitting? So there's no ammo for this anymore but it's now an eight second cooldown instead of 12 seconds for compensation. 
basically when the bat bomb goes up through the platform it will actually go through and this one this is an interesting change if i let it go normally you see how that works but you can shoot it earlier if you press the attack button or press the glove again up to 23 frames early so this is how fast you can do it hitbox on that is more accurate iron giant the only thing is that the plasma orb does not collide with platforms anymore that's literally it apparently they fixed an issue with jake's hand to where it wasn't invulnerable after a 50 percent charge air up attack two they increased the damage to seven from six that's it that's so weird i thought they were saying like Oh, yeah, oh, you know all those characters you were want changed? They were changing them. They didn't change anything. Like, Jake is still trash. You know how sometimes you do an interaction and then you try to dodge and it would dodge the wrong way? They fixed that. Uh, projectile shield for the dash attack starts up a little bit faster. Hitbox startup window reduced. The knockback is increased from to 1750 from 1300. They decreased the multiplayer. The multiplayer, Jesus Christ. The multiplier on how long you charge it from 2 to 1.5 jeez i hate the way they word that on with cancel window advanced so you can't cancel out as soon ground side attack three more knockback more knockback scaling for that so continuing that full jab is going to be a lot more useful on hit delay is a little bit slower on whiff it's even more ground down attack the startup for that is advanced one frame but the knockback influence is actually more upward that actually is really good you actually might be able to use that a lot more and the knockback is increased the scaling and the just general knockback of that stomp and the movement speed of this is increased so it goes out faster they really buff that yeah that prevents that combo as well i like that change because it makes it more useful in a different way and it makes it makes it less annoying like, look how far he goes up. Air neutral. They made it so it ground bounces. Dude, that's sick. That's going to be way more useful. Startup window for the air down attack. So you're going to hit a little bit sooner. Oh, so you know how you go into the power mode and you do that again? Hitbox startup window, reduce one frame. The hitbox size increased to better match visuals. Damage increased, now applies a stun debuff. Oh, so that actually will stun you. Wait a minute, you can wait for the knockback. <laughs> Dude, Jason's gonna be hella fun this patch. Oh, see, they knocked, they reduced the knockback of this by the scaling from 15 or 215 from 19.5 and now consumes the rage buff. On with cancel window, advance 45 frames. Oh my. Oh my God, it's still so long. It's still so long, 45 frames. Capture hitbox size increased. <laughs> even if they increase the size of it, man, it's just like, I don't know, I just feel like even then it's still not worth using, but you'll see it used a little bit more just for fun. Snakes now ignore platform collisions. Oh, they, so they still bounce off the platforms. They just won't hit a platform. The snakes themselves will not hit a platform anymore. Grenade explosion knockback scaling reduced to 20 from 29. As you can tell. Ground side special. Wait, now splits the grenades. Hitbox adjusted to better match visuals. Yeah, we'll see about that. On hit weaken buff removed. Oh, no wonder that was such a combo. You just up there. I don't know how to play Morty, but oh, that's a W. I didn't even know it gave a weakened. That's that's trash so on the ground on hit cancel window for this is faster by 13 frames on hit cancel i feel like that's so weird because it takes time for it to travel anyway tether pull activation advance four frames so when you uh pull your teammate it's gonna work
<laughs> oh my god, you can just keep on putting him up. <laughs> it's just stacking him up. It doesn't even remove the other one. It just freaking stacks. And the new rain dog change is very good, guys. It's very good. That's not actually how it works. I have no cooldowns on. But you can pull them faster. Tether no longer attaches to watermelon, Steven. Oh my gosh. Game's over. Might as well just restart from the beginning. Might as well restart from the beginning. Knockback angle made more vertical. Let's see. <laughs> Knockback angle made more vertical. Apparently it fixed a lot of bugs with crystal, I guess. Advanced travel speed when thrown up or down. So you can be thrown up or down for more travel speed. Okay. Um, ignores project, ignores collisions when going through. So I think it would have hit that, hit the platform, but now it goes through. Increased ground movement in general. I whiff cancel window with the first jab. The third one, that rocket now ignores platform collision. The first hit now consistently goes into the second hit and the hit pause is reduced on that. Ground down attack. Now it has a hitbox on Rick's hand. Oh, interesting. So that's actually really cool. That opens up a new, uh, I kind of like that because all it was used for is this. It seems like it has more me momentum on this. So you can be like more aggressive with it. All commands now have a hitbox on Rick's hand. Interesting. Maybe it would just miss or something. I don't understand that. Golf me seeks can reflect projectiles now. So this is new. This is new. And to give commands to idle me seeks. Oh, so you can give it commands. So his hand has a hitbox now. That just doesn't seem like it'd be used. Projectiles that travel through a portal will reset their history. If you dodge a laser going through the portal, but then it like somehow hits you on the other side of the portal, it will it will actually hit you. Your first dodge doesn't count. This buff to your allies does not increase damage, but the knockback is still the same. Buff now increased fighter weight. Oh, so instead it buffs your fighter weight. Uh, the hurt box for the ground side special is extended, so he's less likely to teleport through projectiles. Crazies, once again, this is taking a long time to record, and it's going to take a long time to edit because in between segments, I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting, so... If you want to show the support, like, subscribe, and comment, it would really help out this video. Yeah, means a lot. Sandwich platform collision. So it just ignores collision on uh, platforms now. So there's an issue where he can do IADs with his rage. Ground side attack. If he misses that, it's a little more whiff. Ground up special on whiff. More whiff on that though, which is good. It says Shaggy now can grab enemy fighters during attack startup. I don't understand how that works because it makes it seem like Superman's like up special, but I don't see it working. Uh, no weakened debuff anymore. I didn't know that's what it did. Friggin' brain dead. Uh, more whiff on the whiff cancel window. Uh, the charged max damage is lowered. Fixed an issue where it wouldn't destroy projectiles and now it does. Knockback reduced to 16.5 from 18.5, the up air. Knockback... Reduced by 50 to 1750 from 1800. Cooldown is increased with this to 20 seconds from 16. On hit cancel window delayed five frames and whiff cancel. So if you miss that, it's a little bit delayed. You can't go into the stuff immediately. They nerfed the fuck out of his bomb, I guess. The hitbox size is reduced. The hitbox damage reduced to seven. The explosion hitbox, uh, traveling hitbox duration reduced 20 frames, traveling hitbox damage reduced to three. That doesn't add up. Seven plus three is not 11. Ammo cooldown increased to 15 from 12.5. So the explosion didn't hit him, the three did. Wow, that's actually really good. Basically, if Gizmo shot an arrow, I'm basically invulnerable to... It's like as if I'm teleporting. I'm invulnerable to projectiles when I do sniper punch now. Ignores platform collision on this move. First hit now more consistently goes into the second one. Hitbox now better matches visuals. 
her box position updated so it no longer drifts behind the tornado wow so this would drift behind the tornado that's why i feel so inconsistent the first hit now combos into more hits consistently sometimes it would hit and just like drop off that now more goes in the second hit boot applies a, applies a tasty buff it lasts longer for 0.2 seconds it now ignores platforms and then on hit cancel window is uh improved four frames ground dash attack hit pause reduced that's it hitbox added to this joker's hand while he throws a card neutral attack on cooldown can i use this attack on cooldown to swipe his hand without throwing a card no one's going to use that why did you add that in that is so dumb with all with all the one and two the forward movement increase if he whiffs this move he's punishable now hitbox the joker's hand with the teeth now moves the joker forward less startup window before the charge moves the joker backwards from the rocket now and the knockback is increased yep i know i'm about to fall asleep too banana don't you worry hitbox increased for this and the cannon fire startup window okay that's actually a big change air down special shut up window increase two frames knockback influence multiplier decreased so a little bit less cancer but i'm sure it's still gonna be cancer don't you worry uh this hitbox is gonna send him downwards for a ground bounce uh if you don't charge the balloon the knockback is not as bad so that knockback right there is less when it's not charged oh on whiff holy shit he's on whiff wow that's actually could be huge he's on whiff until the balloon is detached so you can punish the fuck out of him when he's in the balloon and he doesn't hit you with it uh and then the joker the wild card the big jumbo card is, the knockback scaling is reduced to 19 from 21 that won't make a fucking lick of difference visuals have been updated to better feature the leading girl I said recover, not attack. Bubbles leader airspeed buff reduced to 10% from 15%. Damage reduced to six from 11. Wow, that, that did 11 damage, that's crazy. Air neutral attack, damage reduced to five from nine. Knockback is increased though. Galen is reduced to two from seven. And the knockback angle is more horizontal. The hit stunner is reduced as well but you can cancel out of it faster. A lot of nerfs, but that's the one buff. This got changes right here. Knockback increased 2,800 from 2,600 and more horizontal. So that, that's more horizontal. So when you hit it, you can't... That was me dodging right after I hit. Oh, so you can reflect projectiles easier. Each girl now causes a different knockback angle. So Blossom Leader will send downwards. Bubbles Leader will send you towards you. And Buttercup Leader will send upwards. Because I said Blossom is reduced, but this one goes way further. But when you're Buttercup, it does not go as far. If you whiff this, a lot more delay to cancel out. Repeat move lockout increased to 20 frames from 8 frames. Ground up attack. On hit cancel window is now limited to specific actions. Oh, because before you would cancel it with the Tom and Jerry, and now you can't. Oh, Tom and Jerry mains are fuming. Rocket projectile now ignores platform collision. This will now ignore platforms. That's it. Wait, on whiff cancel window. There's a little bit more whiff on the dot. So I was understanding that dodge jabbing doesn't work anymore but it's only if you dodge through and don't use the dodge jab like the instant air down attack hitbox size adjusted so it's less likely to hit above wonder woman that's a nerf apparently not a fix removed ability to fast fall so you can't fast fall do up special and then like fast fall but crazies that is it we have made it finally to the end of the patch notes Holy shit, thank you all for sticking around with me. I hope the visual updates. Uh, I had some feedback about waiting to do the video when the update is actually live. So that's what I did, get, went ahead and did. So hopefully you guys enjoy 
Hopefully I did at least an okay job at demonstrating what has changed. There's some iffy things in there, but for the most part, you guys get a visual representation. There's uh, crazy. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be making videos on the new game mode and all the other changes within the game. Crazies have a fantastic time with the patch today and, uh, you know, in the future until season four. With that, I say goodnight and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. Love you, crazies. I love you.